Understanding the phrase, turn on the stove, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase you might encounter in everyday English. Turn on the stove. This phrase is not just about cooking. It's a great example of how English verbs and nouns work together. So, let's dive in and understand every aspect of this phrase. Turn on the stove is a phrase that combines a verb phrase, turn on, with a noun, stove. In English, when we say, turn on, we usually refer to the action of activating or starting a machine or a device. A stove, on the other hand, is a common kitchen appliance used for cooking. It typically runs on gas or electricity. So, when we put these words together, turn on the stove means to activate the stove to start cooking or heating something. The phrase can be used in various situations. Let's look at some examples. 1. Cooking instructions. First, turn on the stove and then place the pan on it. 2. Safety reminder. Don't forget to turn off the stove after cooking. 3. Teaching cooking. I'll show you how to turn on the stove safely. In each of these cases, the phrase is used to indicate the action of starting the stove as part of a larger activity, like cooking a meal or teaching kitchen safety. It's also helpful to know similar phrases. Turn off the stove. This means to stop the stove's operation, usually after cooking. Adjust the stove. This implies changing the stove's settings, like temperature. Light the stove, often used for gas stoves, meaning to ignite the burner. Understanding these phrases will enhance your comprehension of kitchen-related conversations in English. And there you have it, a complete breakdown of the phrase, turn on the stove. Remember, English is full of phrases where verbs and nouns combine to express specific actions, especially in practical tasks like cooking. We hope this video helps you understand not just this phrase, but also the way English phrases work in general. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.